In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure the distance pricing and also see the user price list. First, we log in as the administrator, click live puzzles, scroll down the page, click distance pricing. Here we have the distance pricing table. It is defined in a stepwise manner similar to the package size table. To add a new distance, we have to type in the position number. For example, we want to insert one that's in, in between here. So that would be number three. We need to enter the maximum distance that's in between these two, 25. We need to enter multiply in between these two, 2.5. Save. Now we have inserted a new price in between the two. When the system calculates the price, it will first look at the dimension of the puzzle and determines the base price that you have defined in the package size table. After that, the system will calculate the distance between the two address that the user have entered, the pickup address and the destination address. Using the distance between the two address, the system can determine what is the correct multiplier that should be used to multiply with the base price that you have defined in the package size table. Thereby, the system can tell you how much it will cost to ship an item from one place to another. If we scroll down on this page, the first thing we see is this Google API key. We recommend that you enter your own Google API key so that you can track your usage and pay for excess usage if you happen to exceed the free allowance that Google provides. Our system uses a number of Google APIs, namely Google Maps Distance Metrics API, Google Maps Geocoding API, and Google Places API Web Service. If you exceeded Google API usage, LivePuzzle will not work properly Therefore, we strongly recommend that you input your own API key here so that you can monitor your usage and pay for any excess usage you may encounter. Our system has two ways of calculating distance. The first way is straight line distance, which is literally drawing a straight line between the pickup and the destination address. The second method is Google Map driving distance. That means we send the address to Google and ask the Google server what is the driving distance between the pickup address and the destination address. If we select the Google Maps driving distance, a few more options will appear. These options basically tells the Google Maps distance metrics API to avoid specific routes when calculating the distance between the pickup address and the destination address. By default, our system uses the metric system, that means in kilometers, but if you don't like that, you can use the imperial unit, which is in miles. If we scroll down, we can see the calculated price table. It has all the different package sizes we have defined, and also the prices to send the parcel at the distances we have defined. Your customer can also see a similar price table on their account if they log in. Let me show you how. Let's go back home quickly switch to a postpaid one account click my price list here you can see the package size table on the customer's end further down we can see how the distance is calculated next we have the distance price table. Finally, we have the calculated price table, the same as what we will see on the administrator account. If the user has discount, this price table will include the user's discount as well.